Part 1. Cartesian coordinates in two dimensions. You will find this on page 133 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Cartesian coordinates in two dimensions. Direction can also be described as a distance east and a distance north of a fixed point. The French mathematician and philosopher René Descartes made use of the fact that the position of a point on a flat surface can be specified by giving these two numbers. The flat surface is called the Cartesian plane. Okay, this, the Carte this is the Cartesian plane. This is called the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. This horizontal line is called the x-axis, and the vertical line is called the y-axis. There, the point of intersection is called the origin, and that will be described as 0, 0. All values in this quadrant will be positive, positive. In this one, it will be negative, positive. In this one, negative, negative. And in this one, positive, negative. The coordinate point defined by an ordered pair. The coordinate point or ordered pair x, y. It's in brackets with a comma in between. So this first value describes the x coordinate and the second value describes the y co coordinate. First, you must write the x value like in the alphabet. It's just a way to remember. x, y. So first the x value. Okay, let's just move it up a little bit. To describe a point A, first go straight down to the x-axis. Okay, so if I want to describe that point, go straight to the x-axis, that's 2, then straight to the y-axis, and that's 1, and I can describe that point by saying 2, comma, 1. Okay, in brackets with a comma between the two numbers. Remember, the point of intersection is called the origin, and it's described by the coordinate point 0, comma, 0. Okay, let's go through an example. Write down the coordinates of the points A to L on the diagram. So let's just see where is A. Um, okay, this will be the point A. So it's negative 2 and negative 1. The point B, negative 2 and negative 2. The point C, 3 and negative 1. The point D, 4 and the point E, just go down, okay, this is like a comma, so it's 4.5 and 7. The point F, okay, F, there it is, so it's 4 and 8. The point G, okay, let's just see, 2 and 8. And the point H, 5 and 9. And the point L, let's just see L. 1 and 9, and the point J, 1.5 and 7, and the point K, 2 and 5, and the point L, it will be 2 and negative 1. Okay, um, so I want you to do, stop the video, and do try now 1. Just write the coordinate points down. I'm going to make it a bit bigger so that you can really see it very clear. Okay. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's not try now. One. Okay, and it's starting at the point A, and it's going up to you. Okay, I'm going to first B, just write down the points, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Then it's P, Q, R, S, T, U. 
Okay, let's start with the point A. So first to the x-axis, that's 5 to the y-axis, 2. So it will be 5, 2. The point B, let's just see. First to the x, 10, then to the y, so it's 10, negative 1. Then the point C, let's just see. First to the x, 13, and negative 2. Then the point D, first to the X, so it's 11 and negative 3. Then the point E, okay, let's just see where is E. Okay, first to the X, so it's 9 and it looks like negative 2.5. And then the point um, F, okay, so it's E, and then, okay, let's just see, F, so it's 10 and negative 3. And then the point G, okay, let's just find G, so it's 9 and negative 4. And then the point H, 6 and negative 6. And then the point I, 7 and negative 4.5. So there's the comma and that's a point. Okay, the point J, it's 4 and negative 4.5. And then the point K, it's 2 and negative 5. And then the point L, okay, let's just see L. So it's 3 and negative 4. And then the point M, it's 1 and negative 3. And then the point N, so it's negative 2 and negative 5. And then the point P, it's negative 1 and negative 2. And then the point Q. So it's negative 2 and 1. And then the point um, R. It's 1 and negative 2. And then the point S. So it's 2 and 0 0.5. And then the point uh, T, so it's 3 and negative 1.5. And then the point um, U, the last one. Okay, let's just see where is this one. So it's 6 and negative 0 0.5. Okay, um, let's go through the next example. If I say write down the coordinates of the points A, B, C, and D on the diagram, now it's on the axis. So, so A will be first the x, negative 2 and 0. Can you see? Negative 2 and 0. B, where's B? B will be the point 2, 2 and 0. C will be the point 0, because there is 0 and 1. And D will be the point 0 and negative 3. So if it's on the x-axis, the y value will be 0. And if it's on the y-axis, then the x value will be 0. Okay. Let's just do this one. I'm going to make it again a little bit bigger. Okay. You can stop the video. And you can quickly do try now to write down the coordinates of the points on the diagram. As soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So try now to. Okay. Um, this is the points. Okay, let's just see. I'm first going to write down the points again. So it's K, L, M, N, P, R, 
is T V W. Okay, let's start with K. So K is on the x axis and it will be negative 4 and then the y value will be 0. L, it's on the y axis. So first go down to the x, so it's 0 and it will be 3. M, let's just find M, it's on the x axis, so it's negative 1 and 0. N, it's on the y axis, so it's going to be 0 and 2. And then P, it's on the x-axis, so it's 1 and 0. And then R, it's on the y-axis, so it's 0 and negative 3. And then S, it's on the x-axis, so it's 3 and 0. And then T, let's just find T. T, it's on the y-axis, so it's 0 and negative 1. And V, let's just find V, it's sitting just there, so it's negative 3 and 2. And then W, okay, let's just find this, go up 3, negative 4. And that's how you will describe the ordered pairs.